What's up, what's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is a throwback. This is my predictions from 2016. This is last 16 when the Pro Ammo first got back to the game. I was happy that it was back, but it was a lot of downfalls. Though 17 was coming out, but it didn't. But this was my predictions. You guys need to check it out. I was dead on right. Subscribe to this channel. This is one of my best videos from my old channel. My predictions was right about the pro ammo. Peace. Community, you need to join the NBA Lab community. And I left a comment, and Prime came back like, "Man, bro, you sure you know? That's that's hot. Basically, that's hot stuff. You know, I'm saying you gotta make sure you're talking right. And I feel him on that because you know, it's not easy making video games. You know, boy, B. Shell's breaking it down like you know." How hard they got to work and how much time they was missing with their family and stuff working on this game. So you guys got to keep that in mind when you're requesting things. You got to think about how long it's going to take. So we're going to get right into the action and talk about court vision, playmaking, teamwork. You know, all that stuff among each other. I think there should be more fines and more rewards based on your gameplay. And your decisions you make, you know, out there on the court. They truly need to, you know, do better with that. Uh, that was an awesome pass, and it was a selfish and good play. I don't like when you pull up, and you got a man on the left wing, or you have a man on the right wing. And they decide to shoot the ball with a man in their face. That should be a huge fine. If you get them a huge fine for making silly, bogus shots, their shot selection and decision will be a lot better. You guys understand what I'm saying? It'll be a lot better. So it should be points taken off. They should boost that up to seven points, I think. Seven or eight points. You see them two guys open on the left and right, right wing, and you're not going to pass the ball. Things of that nature. So you can add it up, you know, any way you want. But that basically is the shot selections. It's awful. And the court vision. Like right there. You see how open I am? And he went ahead and done that. Bad, bad decision. Five points off. You know, instead of just throwing it, you know. Yeah. Okay. Locations, which is I love because it's real life park. The park we're looking at now is located in Chicago, Illinois, my hometown. Pretty much look just like it. I actually have it on my YouTube channel. You guys can check it out, the real park. Minus the benches and stuff, you know, the EA added that. Uh, the locations, get more locations, okay, on this tournament. And make the tournament more better, especially the summer court part, which is the summer court part. It's pretty fun, you know. Sometimes I'm like, okay, y'all, I'm tired of doing this little, you know, five on five thing. I want to play against Kevin Gar Garnett. I want to play against Jimmy Butler and Nate Robinson and, you know, all the NBA players, you know, because you want to have fun with this NBA live stuff. So that's cool, but the tournaments need to be more rewarding and. Basically, add some spice to the tournaments. I would like to see every time they, you know, get ready and the board, they should show it on board and on a bus or on a small jet. You know, just to spice things up. You listen to with your little headphones in your ear and stuff. You on a bus, you going to play in Chicago. You know, you touch down Chicago. Y'all lace up y'all shoes and stuff. Y'all get on the court. You know, just little small things like that to bring more realistic to the game. So basically what they need to do is make more punishment for the decisions that you make on the court to eliminate the ball hawking and bad decisions, which can lead to your team losing the game and basically having a possibility of winning the game. It can go either way. It most definitely needs to stop. Them wide open players, the ball need to pass them. That should be a cruel, cruel punishment. Uh, spicing up the tournaments and adding new locations. 
which I told you guys I'm very aware that it's not that easy to make so add the new locations make the summer court a lot more compatible this more compatible make players punish for their actions and the graphics is cool and hook up the gameplay but that's gonna come along with them fixing NBA live in general to next time this is your boy TY knowledge I'm out